If you're feeling tired, weak, and short of breath, you might have anemia. Anemia is a condition where your red blood cells are too low or don't work properly. These red blood cells carry oxygen around your body, so when they're low, you can feel the effects. There are many causes of anemia, but one that you might not be aware of is vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D is a nutrient that's important for many aspects of your health, including bone health, immune function, and inflammation. But did you know that vitamin D also helps your body make red blood cells? In this video, we'll explain how low levels of vitamin D can cause anemia and what you can do to prevent or treat it. What is the link between vitamin D and anemia? According to studies, the link between vitamin D and anemia has to do with a hormone called hepcidin. Hepcidin is a hormone that controls how much iron your body absorbs and uses. Iron is essential for making red blood cells, so when you don't have enough iron, you can't make enough red blood cells. Hepcidin also protects your body from having too much iron, which can be harmful to your organs. When there's inflammation or infection in your body, hepcidin levels go up. This reduces the amount of iron available for making new red blood cells. Research suggests that low vitamin D levels can also increase hepcidin levels. This means that less iron is available for making red blood cells, so your red blood cell levels can drop, which can lead to anemia. Vitamin D may also have a more direct role in making red blood cells. Vitamin D may support the growth of the cells that produce red blood cells in your bone marrow. When vitamin D levels are low, these cells may not function properly. How to prevent or treat vitamin D deficiency anemia? The good news is that vitamin D deficiency anemia can be prevented or treated by increasing your vitamin D intake. You can get vitamin D from three main sources, sunlight, food, and supplements. Sunlight is the natural way to get vitamin D, as your skin makes it when exposed to UV rays. However, many factors can affect how much vitamin D you make from sunlight, such as your skin color, the season, the time of day, and how much sunscreen you use. Generally, experts recommend getting 10 to 15 minutes of sun exposure on your arms and legs a few times a week. Food sources of vitamin D include fatty fish, such as salmon, tuna, and sardines, egg yolks, cheese, and fortified foods, such as milk, cereal, and orange juice. However, it can be hard to get enough vitamin D from food alone, as most foods are low in vitamin D. So, supplements are another way to get vitamin D. You can find vitamin D supplements in different forms and doses at most pharmacies. The recommended daily intake of vitamin D for adults is 600 international units, or 15 micrograms. But some people may need more depending on their age, health condition, and their blood level of vitamin D. If you have anemia or suspect you have low vitamin D levels, you should talk to your doctor before taking any supplements. Your doctor can check your blood level of vitamin D and iron and prescribe the right dose of supplements for you. You should also follow up with your doctor regularly to monitor your progress and adjust your treatment if needed.